highly profitable niches on Instagram in 2021. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the top seven highly profitable niches in 2021. Firstly, you need to know that regardless of any niche you decide to pick, you have to be passionate and knowledgeable about the niche. Make sure it's a niche that you actually love and enjoy to discuss about. Over the time, this is going to tell if you're just doing it because everyone is doing it or if you're doing it because you're passionate about it. However, you also have to think of how are information shared in these niches. Like, is there too much information out there and it's just overly saturated or there's a way you can deliver your information in a different way? I don't believe there's no niche or category that's not saturated. However, you can always find a way to deliver your own message differently right and that's going to make it look brand new there are 3.48 billion people on social media so trust me your own audience is out there your own people are out there waiting for you to listen to what you have to share from your own experience and from your own perspective so the main reason why i'm sharing this is because i've noticed from speaking to clients and speaking to other content creators that there's some people that pick niches that are very difficult for them to make money in. So this tells on the amount of collaborations they get and opportunities they get. Don't get me wrong, this could be affected by different factors like where you live, the number of followers you have, or um, how you deliver your content. However, there's still some niches out there that have proven over the years to be at the top and have so much budget to invest in marketing, especially influencer marketing. So the first one I'm going to mention is travel. Travel is one of the top categories in the world, industry in the world that generates so much money. Travel makes so much money before the pandemic. And to be honest, even during the pandemic, I've still seen some content creators that are travel content creators that have been able to stay afloat and still be able to have collaborations and opportunities out there. Someone like the Ufoma on Instagram, she has remained consistent even during the pandemic with her travel content. I don't know how she does it. I think she is a genius and she's doing so well. So that industry is definitely one to look out for. But remember, like I said, make sure it's an industry you're knowledgeable about and you're passionate about and you genuinely enjoy it. If you go on Instagram to look at what Ufama is doing, she is doing wonderfully well and you can tell she's very passionate about this. The next industry is beauty. Of course, there is so much money in beauty and there's so much budget set to influencer marketing and where brands are just ready to work with influencers. You can have brands like Uda Beauty, Fenty Beauty, Sephora, etc. There's so many brands out there in the beauty industry. They are ready to dedicate budgets and eye budgets and money to the industry just to be able to keep it running and keep promoting their product. Next sector is health and fitness. Especially during the pandemic, oh my god, I've seen this industry skyrocketed basically. This industry has boosted so much during the pandemic and I think that's just from the fact that people are at home, everybody's eating and not really been too active so many people are interested in doing something in their own and staying active regardless so this is a sector that i've seen so much growth and so much boost especially during this period so if you've been that fitness guru on the g like low key and you don't want to put yourself out there i think this is the right time to start creating the content to put yourself out there and make other brands see you trust me there's so much to be done in this industry the next one i want to mention is parenting and this is one sector or niche that i can say it's not overly saturated and that's because not everybody has got kids <laughs> so not everyone can talk about parenting so the Few people talking about parenting, they're doing wonderfully well and brands are picking up on them like so quick. So if you've got kids, you're interested in content creation and you want to share your journey with other parents to be able to help them, make sure you're ready to put yourself out there because it's going to come. The opportunities are going to come. They're going to find you. Parenting, motherhood, fatherhood, just new mom, 
um, story and content they work perfectly well especially on Instagram and YouTube as well. So make sure you're looking at this area and thinking, okay, is this something I want to incorporate in my content? So the sixth one is lifestyle. So many brands are interested in working with lifestyle content creators because they can naturally and organically just incorporate their product or service into their lifestyle and just share that. And it doesn't come across to as promotion or advertising. It just blends in. So if you're a lifestyle content creator, keep pushing yourself out there the opportunities are gonna come you're in the right niche and the right category in the right industry so don't worry keep doing what you're doing lastly this is a niche that has been around for long but during this pandemic i don't even want to call it a boost it was just like a volcano like it just explode <laughs> like business and educational category especially on instagram Instagram used to be mostly fashion, beauty and just the visuals. However, they've always been coaches and trainers and uh, consultants and all this expert. During this pandemic, everyone was willing to learn. Everyone was willing to share their knowledge. And this category just like boosts up. And the fact that people are beginning to look for more value in the content they consume. So this is the area where if you're good at making air, if you're good at... Um, taking care of your natural air, make sure you put that knowledge out there, share with the community because there's a possibility that there's someone that have your type of air that is willing to learn from you and willing to learn something. This is what people are going to hold on to. I mean, the fashion is nice, the beauty is nice. However, people are beginning to look for more meanings and more value in the content they consume. So make sure you're that person they come to when they want to learn something in a particular area that you are passionate. I think that's the list of all the categories and the niches. And like I said earlier in this video, you picking the right niche and the niche that is profitable is going to determine how much collaboration you get and how much opportunities you get. It might not determine it like 100%, but it's going to have an impact on how much opportunity you get in a long run so make sure when you're picking the categories or when you're niching down you're looking at okay in this industry what are the opportunities just the way you go to uni and you pick a course to do but before even picking the course you look at the job available in this industry and say okay is it an industry that after finishing my degree i'm going to be able to get a job that's exactly how it works so before you niche down completely look at the niche and say okay in this niche what are the opportunities for me what are the opportunities i can find what are the brands that i can work with and that might help you slightly to shape the way you create your content and the way you put your content out there even it might help you shape the platform you actually pick to share your content if you're more of the talking and showing person maybe you want to look at youtube and translate your content into a video version and share on youtube just something like that Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I really enjoy reading about this research and reading about this uh, topic, especially just for my own use as well and also to share with you guys. So if you really enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video with fellow content creator, your friends and families, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.